Hi, I'm Jason Hudson from Tenzig Technology, and today we're going to look at creating a dedicated WVD, or Windows Virtual Desktop, custom shell for Windows-based thin clients. Creating a custom shell gives us the ability to launch our user's desktop to run a single application at login, so that our end users only get access to what they need and nothing more. It also gives your system engineers and administrators a more controlled and secure desktop environment to set up and manage. It is also quite easily maintained should you need to change the applications your users need access to in the future. We are going to be using the Tenzig Universal Write Filter or UWF Wizard for this that comes as part of the Windows Tenzig client build. On our Tenzig Windows client desktop, if we show hidden icons at the bottom right of our screen, we can see the UWF icon in there. And if we right click on it, we have the option to select the configuration item. So we'll click this and the UWF wizard will be displayed. Once inside the wizard, you will see the UWF status tab as the initial display and that this version of Windows is using Shell Launcher version 2. Shell Launcher 2 enables us to run UWP or Universal Windows platform apps that can take advantage of secondary views and run on multiple monitors if required. For this demonstration we will be setting up a dedicated WVD shell so that our user has specific access only to this environment after they have logged on. To begin with we need to specify our default shell to be explorer.exe so we have the ability to still control the Windows environment should we have any problems. So we click on open file and select explorer.exe from within the Windows folder and then click default shell. You will be asked if you're sure so we click yes. We are then informed that we need to reboot the thin client for these changes to take effect. We don't want to reboot just yet so we click no. Now we need to set a specific shell to launch for our user named Thin Client User. We do this by selecting our local user from the drop down list and then browsing for our application we wish to run each time that user logs on. In this case, we will look for the application msrdcw.exe in the Program Files Remote Desktop folder on C. We click add shell and answer yes to the question and click no because we don't want to reboot just yet. Now in the shell launcher status window below we click enable, say yes and answer yes to the reboot question and wait for the client to boot back up again. Once the client has rebooted if we go into the UWF configuration wizard again we can see that the shell launcher status has changed to enabled and that the default shell is now version 2, custom shell host.exe. If we click on the custom shells tab in the wizard, we can also see our newly created custom shell options for our thin client user. Now, to complete this configuration, we will run a batch script on the desktop that will set our thin client user to be the default user that logs on during boot up. This will customise the device so that it will perform in a kiosk type manner so that each time it's powered on or rebooted the user always comes back to their familiar desktop experience. We double click the Thin Client User Auto Logon script, press Y and the Thin Client will reboot. Now that the device has rebooted you can see it automatically logging on as Thin Client User that we specified by running the auto log on script earlier. Notice that we are now presented with the remote desktop WVD getting started page that allows us to subscribe to our WVD environment. If we click subscribe we are able to sign into the WVD environment that is already set up for us. I type in my user and domain and click next. Then I key in my password and click sign in. 
I have MFA or multi-factor authentication set up for this particular user. So I can either have secure access codes sent to a device of my choice, which in this case is my phone, or you can install Microsoft's Authenticator app for Android or iOS. I'm using the Authenticator app, so I'll just key that in now. Now that I have subscribed, I get access to all the resources assigned to my user account. I can double click onto my support desktop, key in my password, and just wait a few seconds. And I'm logged into my Windows Virtual Desktop. This concludes today's demonstration on how to build a custom shell for Windows Virtual Desktop on your Tenzig Windows client. I hope you enjoyed the session and remember, if you have any questions regarding this or related topics, then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.